Hello everyone. Giguego scano. Agi jangwa giguego. Jo hiwaje okunonyo. Da ona dangudio god. De ana od nio jan. Helwe gnon de guetta. Yesterday afternoon, the council voted to resolve our outstanding compact dispute with New York State and direct the transfer of more than $540 million from our agreed upon secured account. With council's approved resolution, our banking partners are now working to remove the freeze placed on several nation-related accounts as a result of New York and Governor Hochul's invasive and malicious actions over the past few days. This will allow the nation and our businesses to operate without disruption and permit Seneca's employees and business partners to resume normal business and cash checking transactions. Our counselors and executives agreed that the Seneca Nation simply could not stand by while New York State intentionally attempted economic coercion on holding Seneca people and thousands of Western New Yorkers hostage. The state may think it's appropriate to force an elder to go without diabetes medication, or a family already dealing with the financial impacts of the pandemic to go without a paycheck. Our nation will not let that happen. We will not let New York State strangle Seneca's and the people of Western New York. So, while the funds are being transferred, let me also send a message to New York. Don't use the people of Western New York as pawns in your obvious desire to destroy the Seneca Nation. You have an obligation under federal law to negotiate a compact with the Seneca Nation in good faith. Honor it. The Seneca Nation is demanding fairness in our gaming compact, fairness from New York State, fairness from the federal government that is supposed to look out for the interests of Native nations. We have received neither of those in the past two decades. 20 years ago, the state promised the Seneca Nation exclusivity that truly never existed, and which the state has intentionally erased even further at every opportunity. New York State has been all too happy to act as a partner, a regulator, and a competitor to the Seneca Nation all at the same time. That is going to change. And when the questions of fairness and legality of New York's greed were put before the Department of Interior and the National Indian Gaming Commission, their silence in their response was a deafening disservice to Seneca people and all of Indian country. We deserve and demand better. The Seneca Nation has led the way in revitalizing Western New York's economy. A crumbling state-owned convention center in Niagara Falls, a largely vacant former industrial site in Buffalo, former farmland in Salamanca have all been transformed into world-class destinations built and paid for through the vision, determination, and hard work of the Seneca Nation. The impact and benefit of this economic engine reach far beyond the nation's territories and far beyond just Western New York. Thousands of Western New Yorkers earn the wages they need to support their families, put food on their tables, maintain their homes, and raise their children while working at our casinos. Seneca Gaming Corporation is a sought-after business partner for companies from every corner of the region, throughout the state and across the country, creating a ripple effect of growth and economic success. After 20 years, our compact must finally recognize the true condition of the gaming landscape. Not New York's empty promise on fictional benefits. If the Indian Gaming Regulatory Act is to be believed, then the federal government must hold our compact to the standard of ensuring that the Seneca Nation and Senecas are the primary beneficiaries of our gaming enterprise, so that our business supports our peoples and our nation's economic growth first and foremost. The Seneca Nation will not rest until we have a compact in place that secures the future of our gaming business in Western New York, for our Seneca people, for our thousands of dedicated employees, for our business partners, and for our neighbors. We're not going anywhere, and we will not tolerate a governor and a state hell-bent on crushing us. If that's what the state expects, they couldn't be more wrong. The time for honest, compact discussions is long overdue. 
The Seneca Nation's ready. It's time for New York State to come to the table. Let's get started. Yelling. Yeah.